We have a absolute network of copper lines down here. Like I said, this is a three-story walk-up, three different units. Each one of them has their own hot water tank and water supply lines. And these are our hot and cold for what we're doing. So since we're redefining how our space works, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these lines here today and I'm gonna install these shark bite ball valve handles here. And that just slides onto the pipe on each side and then I can convert to PEX. This way, when I get the final resting place for my vanity, which has got drawers and some other accessories in it and my plumbing has to be pretty precise, I can get all that sorted out, get the location approved by the client, and then I can run my plumbing up through the floor from here at a later date, just using PEX tubing. It'll only take me about five minutes. So getting this done today allows me to finish pulling the rest of that plumbing out of the floor so I can get all those layer of floor off and get down to my subfloor. So the reality is, is because it's somewhat modern and it's somewhat new, I could have just tied into the plumbing here. I, you know, I could have just cut off the corner there and run it over. But there's another factor here and that is flexibility. I have the ability now for my client to come running down the stairs, run through this door and just go poof, and turn these two valves right off right here with no obstruction. You don't have to reach around or move things out of the way in the case of emergency. And that kind of peace of mind is worth its weight in gold. It also gives me a couple of feet extra here in case they ever want to add any water lines in the future. Down here there's no laundry sink, so that's a thought. And that way, if they ever wanted to add something in the future, it's in a convenient location and it's just a quick pex crimp and we can add lines to run off. I always try to think, what ifs? Because I can cut the copper over here. That's awkward for me now. I can do it here and that makes it convenient and it gives me flexibility down the road. You know, something to consider for every homeowner, actually, is to take a look at your main copper lines and put these ball valves on because they don't have any washers. They'll always be working for you. And then in case of emergency, if you have your water supply tucked in in your storage room, buried behind a bunch of stuff, you can't get to it fast enough to stop a major problem. But having an access door or something like this at the bottom of your stairs in your basement where you can just throw the lid and take two handles and do a quarter turn and shuts the water off to the whole house in emergency, that is worth the investment of $20 a ball valve and a few minutes of doing it yourself plumbing. Now this is gonna get a little wet because we didn't get a chance to drain all the lines, but that's okay. It's a stone house, it's a concrete floor. A little water isn't gonna hurt anybody. I've been wet before. <laughs> I believe I got wet just taking the shower part. <laughs> Here we go. Just turn and tighten. There we are. And we're there. Woohoo! All right, now, the old lines. Uh, just gonna get that out of my way for now. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, while that's dripping, we'll cut the other line in. We're going to offset it just a little bit so I don't risk slicing my hand open on the exposed copper here. It's kind of hard to operate this thing wearing gloves. These mini cutters are difficult enough to make work. All right, let's just do a couple of runs and I'm tightening this up so it basically sets the cutting wheel a little deeper in that soft copper. There we go. Every time you go around, you give it a bit of a, a little bit of a twist. Holy cow. If it doesn't want to twist, just run it a couple more times. There we go. Oh, there's the water. Okay, we'll get out of the way of that. Now, the best thing about Shark Bite is you can install wet. You don't have to wait till this is done draining and dry. You don't have to go to the cupboard and get a loaf of bread. You don't have to do any silliness like that. You don't have to leave the plumbing off for two hours and come back until it's all done draining. You just got to get that nice and clean. Now, I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference here. There is no arrow on this for which way the water flows. There's just open and closed. That's the closed position, okay? And you just roll it on there, push and turn. All right, there we go. Now we're in place. This is just a quick five minute job. That gives me a ton of flexibility. 
And this way, I only have to do plumbing once. And the, every time I need to make any adjustments for the rest of this project, I can just come down here and turn off the water supply. Now, if you want to check if it's installed properly, try to pull it off. Yeah. If it can't pull off, it's installed properly. Now, even after all the plumbing is finished, I can change the position of these handles. Okay, so I probably are gonna to wanna to have them flat like this, closer to the ceiling, where I can give them a turn nice and easy. So if I come down and I'm in an emergency, I can just turn these like this, I'm done. Beautiful. 20 bucks a piece, about 10 minutes worth of work. Peace of mind.